hello everyone welcome back to my channel i hope you're doing well today's video is going to be my top 10 lipsticks for my skin tone my most reachable lipsticks for a pakistani asian olive skin tone these are definitely like well used well loved some of them are nearly finishing and they are pretty much in a similar sort of color family but they are all different. I promise, Wakar, they're all different. <laughs> this is part one because I know for a fact that I'm definitely missing some of my lipsticks here. I have to be really honest with you guys. I have a horrendously large collection of lipsticks and lip glosses and satin lips and even like metallic lips. I have a huge, huge collection. A lot of it is Colourpop because I went a bit Colourpop crazy about two years ago. And I definitely want to do more content with them on here because it makes sense if you own so much stuff to share it and then other people can be a bit more smart, tactical when they're actually buying things. The foundation that I'm wearing today, in case you're wondering, is a Fenty Beauty Hydrating Foundation link down below so i'll be applying that as well as this video goes on but you would have already seen like little snips and clips and posy bits of all the colors so if you're interested to know what they are then definitely keep on watching the purpose of this video and for you guys to be able to see what each of these colors look like perfectly i'm not going to be using a lip liner but typically i do like to use lip liner because as you can see these are my natural lips there's no fillers in them i've never had lip fillers before and they are pretty uneven i like my bottom lip i feel like my bottom lip is a nice size my top lip is a little bit thinner than i would have liked so i do tend to overline my top lip just so it matches and is in line with my bottom lip so typically i would use a nude kind of liner this is one i've been using recently it's actually my makeup revolution i don't love the formula of this but that's the color that i typically go for just a little bit sort of deeper than my natural lips um, and my natural lip color is quite nice it's a pink color i was gonna go by shades but i think i'm just gonna go by brands instead so i'm gonna start with huda beauty i have two of her products here which I absolutely love the first one is a liquid matte lipstick and this is in the shade bombshell and this one is a mini and it's it's literally about to finish So I'm just going to let this dry down so you guys can see the actual colour. It is looking a little bit more peachy on screen, which is annoying. It definitely pulls a little bit more pink. Um, but I really, really love this with a deeper lip liner around the edges because it is just a perfect, nice, everyday colour. It's not too light. Like, by itself, it looks pretty light, even just in my mirror. But it's it's not too much. It's one of those colours you can just put on and go and you know it's not going to look too bold or it's not going to be too nude. It's kind of in the middle. It's just a nice really lovely pink colour and the formula of this I really enjoy. It's a thin formula, not too drying, it's not too matte and I find that because it's not super super drying the longevity is not the best out there but it definitely like lasts long enough for me to be able to reapply it maybe five hours later and it looks really nice and because it's not too thick as well when I do reapply it I find that I don't have to kind of scrub up my lips first or you know worry about the products building up so I do really like her liquid lipstick formula. Bombshell is definitely a shade that I absolutely love. Right, this is a newer lipstick in my collection again it's by Huda Beauty this is one of her cream lipsticks and I absolutely love the formula it's very similar to the Colourpop Ultra Satin Lips but just a tiny bit more luxurious I would say and this is in the shade Mogul you can get this as part of a set with one of her liquid lipsticks and one of her lip liners and one of those cute lip sets which I was really kindly gifted by my lovely friend Shehroon and I love this colour so much Mogul is literally like such a boss color in my opinion is again it's that perfect medium color it's not too light and it's so flattering for my skin tone I love the formula never ever drying and I really really like the applicator on this I don't know if you guys could see when I was applying so it's got a bit more of a lip cell so you can actually get really precise with your application and you don't have to wear a lip liner with it because of that so I absolutely love this and I would 100% pick up the full size 
I just think it is so nice and it goes with so many different colors, so many different makeup looks and pretty much any outfit as well. Alright, moving on to Morphe now, I do really enjoy their lip products and I've tried a couple of lip liquid lipsticks and this one is one of my favourites, but I'm hoping that you can actually buy this separately because this was part of a trio set like last Christmas. This is in the shade Dainty and the packaging looks like this. It's got a nice doe for applicator and in the camera it's coming out a little bit more orange, I would say it pulls slightly more towards the grey nude side and that's why I love it. It's basically like a perfect nude lipstick for an Asian skin tone in the bottle. Even without a lip liner, it can look pretty, pretty fantastic. Yeah, I don't want to keep saying the same thing, but I just think that it is so, so nice against a Pakistani skin tone. And the Morphe liquid lipsticks are not too expensive. So like the Huda ones, I believe are like around the 18 to 20 pound mark. These are more like the 10 to 12 pound mark, so they're almost half price. The formula of this is definitely more thick and more drying than the Huda one, but the longevity is amazing. I can literally like go almost a whole day without having to retouch this, and the only time it will budge is when I'm eating oily food. But apart from that, it's pretty much gonna stay and last all day, which I love, and I think for the price, it's pretty fantastic. <music> My second and final Morphe liquid lipstick choice. As you can see, the packaging of these two is pretty different. This is from the definitely uh, the original line. This is from a gift set. This is the shade Peanut and it's just drying down. But I would say this is a more orangey version than ABH Ashton and it's a little bit more of a richer color than Dainty. So I love wearing this when I'm going for very warm tones. As you can see, it just complements a warm eyeshadow look like no other. And let's be honest, most of my eyeshadow looks are pretty warm. But also I love wearing this when I'm wearing khaki, khaki shades because that's like my favorite color and again just oranges and khakis go really well with someone who's got an olive skin tone dry down already it doesn't feel drying on the lips it does not accentuate my lines or anything like that um, and the longevity and the staying power is fantastic so yeah i would definitely give more of morphe liquid lipsticks a go because i think that the formula is pretty bang on and the color range is pretty amazing too and this is a shade that i would 100 percent repurchase <laughs> This is the only actual lipstick in my whole video for this round one and this is the Colourpop liquid see I'm so used to saying liquid lipstick Boop. this is the Colourpop lipstick in the shade Brink I love this so much when I first got this I used up the, like almost a whole tube and I actually ordered a backup this is my backup now it's such a perfect everyday color especially like for work when you're working in an environment where you know you don't want your makeup to be too much you just if you just want a bit of colour to the lips, you just want a colour that will brighten up your face, will make you look more awake, more alive. Because it's a typical lipstick formula, it's really creamy, nourishing, it does not dry your lips out, um, and it lasts a decent amount of time. Obviously, it's not going to have a longevity of a liquid lipstick, but it's definitely going to last me until at least sort of break to lunchtime, and then I might reapply if I can be bothered. If not, it's fine. <laughs> In the morning, I looked really fresh, and it made me feel awake. It's like a My Lips But Better shade, and the fact that I've brought this twice, despite the enormous range of shades that Colourpop has, kind of shows you how awesome it is. All 
right, this is the ColourPop Ultra Satin Lip in the shade Calypso. Shouldn't be a surprise to anyone who's familiar with my channel, I use this shade all the time. First of all, I love the application of this. It's so small and perfect because if you don't have huge lips, then you kind of need something that can just allow you to fill in your lips without going and all overboard and making a mess. Um, the colour is definitely similar to Brink in that it's a My Lips Work Better shade. Um, I would say this is a little bit more on the mauvey pink side whereas Brink is slightly brighter but again this is something that I have purchased. I think I have three of these and I've obviously already used one up and I've got one in backup because I love it so much. It's just that perfect every single day shade. That shade you just throw on without thinking about it it looks good. It's just muted, but bright enough, you know, uplifting enough, but not too much, not too much of a statement. And I'm comfortable in this color and the formula as well is really comfortable. Compared to Huda Beauty's cream liquid range, I find that the ColourPop Ultra Satin Lips are a little bit more creamy, whereas hers are a little bit more glossy. So these do kind of dry down eventually but they are not in any way, shape or form drying for me and I absolutely love Calypso and if I ever discontinued it, I would be very sad. Like obviously I've got so many other colors that, you know, I, I could replace it, but there's not a shade just like this in my collection and I adore this and I think it's totally worth the whole hassle of shipping fees or using a service like My More Bots or something to get your hands on this. These are the first six shades so far. As you can see, they are all similar, but they're not all the same. They all definitely have a difference in colors. Bombshell is definitely the lightest, and that's why I said that's the one that I would typically always wear a lip liner with. And then as you can see, Mogul is super glossy. I applied this swatch about 20 minutes ago now, and it's still shining away. Um, these two shades from Morphe are similar, but like I said, again, one pours more orange, one pours a little bit more nude, and then the Colourpop ones are pretty pinky, and my lips put better. So this is the Dose of Colours My Main Liquid Lipstick. So this is from the Desi and Katie collection and as you can see it's the lightest shade that I have ever worn that I like. I've definitely worn lighter shades that look too chalky that don't look flattering. This is honestly my perfect nude shade. It's so beautiful and I think this is like Desi's favorite nude. I'm typically like in between their two skin tones. Desi is like a little bit deeper, case is a little bit lighter. I kind of sit in between. So whoever created this, they did a good job. It's definitely like a perfect nude shade and I'm really worried that this might be limited edition to their collection, which I really hope it's not. But I also adore this shade just for putting in the middle of any lip that I'm wearing that's a bit dark. Around Two years before I would always gravitate towards really deep nude lips like for example 1995 by Gerard Cosmetics that was like my jam and now as you can see I've definitely transitioned away from that and I'm going more for the pinks and the slightly more brighter colors and this is perfect for still being able to use those deeper colors that I used to love but just adding a little bit of a twist so also if you guys would like to see a video where I show you my favorite lip combos including like glosses and lip liners and sort of my go-to lip combos then and I definitely can film that that can be a whole separate video because I'm just showing you like what these look like alone. Yeah, this is a beautiful shade by itself. The formula is lovely. It's because it's not totally one that dries down completely, but I like that because it feels like nothing from the lips. It feels so, so weightless and it just, I think it looks really nice. I'm loving the way it's looking in the viewfinder and in my mirror as well. And if I could get a backup of this, I definitely would. I really like it.
Whoa, okay, so this in the viewfinder is looking a tad bit brighter than it does in real life because I spoke about this before, but my camera loves to accentuate oranges. Anyway, this is Kat Von D Lolita 2 and Kat Von D is like the OG liquid lipstick creator and I really actually do enjoy her brand. Some people think that the formula is too drying and I'm actually somebody who's got a lot of resilience to very drying formulas. There's not many formulas that I hate. As long as I've prepped my lips, as long as they've been scrubbed and properly moisturized, I am happy to wear liquid lipstick for the whole day. This is definitely more of a bold shade in for me, although, okay, now it's dried down, so it's looking a bit more how it does in real life in the camera, thank goodness. As you can see, it just complements my olive skin tone so well. It's more of a bold look for sure, but it's one of those where it's not too bold. It doesn't scream in your face. It's not a bright orange or a purple. You know, it's not, it's not a crazy bold lip for me. And I just think it's so uplifting, like this colour when I'm going like to a wedding or a party or a Mendy or whatever, like it just does so much of the work for me because it literally just lifts my face up and it looks so good. I wouldn't typically wear this colour to work and I do actually like a lot of the lipsticks that I've tried in her line. So keep an eye out for them in my next video in part two because there will be a few more coming up for sure. Could this be a top 10 lipsticks video without ABH Ashton? I don't think so. <laughs> this is such a cult favourite, especially among Asian bloggers. And the reason is because it looks absolutely incredible on our skin tone. It is such a gorgeous cross between a brown lip and a nude for us. And I have rinsed this shade to the very inch of its life, like I said, at least two years ago. This is my second one of this product, and I do think the formula's changed. So before, ABH formula did used to be a little bit more thicker, and it would not be the most comfortable to wear. And I feel like now they've kind of made it a little bit more creamy, but it's definitely on the thicker side compared to the um, some of the other liquid lipsticks that I've tried today. But I personally find on my lips it lasts a decent amount of time. I have seen other people like complain and say that it, it comes off pretty easily on them. But for me it definitely does last a decent amount of time and this colour just will never get old for me. Um, it's definitely like a 90s brown. It's definitely a more autumnal shade yeah i just think it's such a gorgeous color and if you're ever like not sure what color to get for somebody who has got a similar skin tone to me i can pretty much assure you that they will enjoy this shade like i haven't met anyone who's tried this that doesn't love it on them and that's saying a lot because there's people who love it who are like deeper than me and who are lighter than me as well obviously if you've got a lighter skin tone this is going to be much more of a bolder brown on you but yeah, for my fellow olive skin tone ladies out there, this one is perfect. Okay, these applications are getting worse and worse as this video goes on, but luckily this is the last one, and as you can see, this is severely running out, but my final favourite lipstick ever is the Gerard Cosmetics Everything Nice Matte Liquid Lipstick. It is just so gorgeous. Again, another one of those that, as you can tell, I can use every single day. And I definitely have been using this almost every single day. The formula is not too drying for me. It lasts a long time. It's one of those shades which I just chuck on. I don't have to worry about if it looks right with the outfit or whatever. Because it's just like my lips but maybe two shades deeper and better. Again, not a flaky formula. Not a formula that accentuates the lines in your lips. It's just, it looks lovely. And I adore this. I think the price point is great as well. Especially when you get it on a beauty based sale. This compared to 1995 is definitely like the lighter version and I prefer that now. 
and um, because yeah I can use it for every day so I, I would use this pretty much all year round this is gonna be an empty soon which is so sad and that is it that is my top 10 lipsticks ever part one <laughs> there's definitely gonna be a part two I don't think I have like 10 other ones that I wear all the time that's not realistic but there's definitely more that I wear very often so yeah let me know do you want to see a separate lip gloss one or do you want to see it just combined just to show you these are the four final shades that I have swatched so you can see that Dainty and Ashton are actually very very similar and yeah everything nice is again similar to those Colourpop ones where it's like my lips but better kind of look and then my mane is definitely the lightest shade but it's still pretty pretty warm and deep and brown and yeah these are my top 10 favourite lipsticks ever these are the ones i reached for the most these are all liquid lipsticks or cream lipsticks or regular lipsticks that i would in the future repurchase if i didn't have such a huge collection already all right <laughs> i really hope that you found this video helpful i know loads of you have been requesting this so i hope you enjoyed it if you have been on those people and if you have any other lipstick recommendation videos for me then leave it down below because i have as you can tell quite a variety of brands and like i said already yeah the collection is pretty large so i want to share it with you guys in the best way possible thank you so much for watching make sure you've hit subscribe before you leave and hit thumbs up see you in the next one bye Thank you.